and welcome back to Bigish Theories. In today's video, we'd like to talk about V's slow dancing, focusing on a little breakdown of the lyrics and the music video to see what they can tell us about the story told in this debut. Now, slow dancing is a song that portrays the romantic fantasy of somebody who wishes to reunite with a person they love and slow dance the night away. Like anticipated in my previous video about Layover, all the tracks in the album are connected by an overarching narrative about a man struggling to let go of a love that is now gone. Stuck in a musical loop where he wishes to be loved again, V's this protagonist embodies both the cozy charm of a hopeless romantic as well as the nostalgia for a youth that is not coming back. Like we already discussed with Rainy Days, this sentimental longing for the past is also very reminiscent of BTS's The Most Beautiful Moments in Life, but in Layover this concept was adapted to fit V's personal taste and style. You see, as an album, Layover kind of represents a moment of passage that also overlaps with a new beginning. Reflecting on what direction to take in this chapter 2 of his career, V realized that there is still a a long way to go before getting to his final destination. Looking back he's nostalgic about the past and he's obviously sentimental about those memories but he also realizes that there is still time and he can express himself however he sees fit. Because of that Layover embodies two different ideas at once. On the one hand, as the title implies, Layover is like a stop. It's a pause that connects the first stage of the journey to the next but on the other it's also a new beginning. It's a starting point from which we can begin to paint the picture of himself. Now as the title track of the album, slow dancing is a perfect representation of these two concepts coming together. As we'll see in a second, the video initially seems to portray V enjoying a vacation with all of his friends, but as the story progresses we discover that this is not exactly the case. What seems to be real is actually a fantasy, or rather an idealized image that V is actively creating using his own experiences as inspiration. Like the album itself, the video is nostalgic and innovative at the same time. We see a romantic and idealized vision of youth the way V himself sees. It. But like in rainy days, we also see V the artist in the active process of turning his vision into reality. At the beginning, for instance, the video opens with Taeyong and his friends swimming in the ocean. This seemingly normal situation, however, soon takes a turn, because in the very same scene we also see glowing jellyfish all around them and bright dots appearing all over the boys' bodies. Now right off the bat, these clues tell us that there's more than what meets the eye, and what happens next actually confirms this to be true. When we cut back to the beginning of their journey, we see V and his friends having fun on their way to reach the beach. In the van, however, we see a friend eating flowers, others wearing a glowing crown able to make them glow as well, and when another friend takes a picture, all of them end up turning into V. When the camera pans out, moreover, we not only see the digital glow spreading throughout the landscape, but we also see the image of Yontan imprinted on the side of the mountain. When they get to the beach, we see one friend digitally adding a watermelon in the water, and later on, V and the others catch glowing animals flying around on the rocky beach. Now, unless the video portrays a reality where Yontan took over the world and is now the ultimate overlord, these images actually imply that this is not reality, but rather this version of it. As we get to the second verse, in fact, the video reveals that the magical vacation V is having is actually something that he created in his own home. He created a perfect miniature of the setting of this holiday, he included all the people he wanted to include, and he even designed the animals to play with, from the snail, to the butterfly, to the jellyfish in the back. The reason why the Polaroid showed us all the people are staying might actually be because in this artificial reality it's V himself the one playing all the characters. As we saw in the opening, all their bodies were covered in glowing dots, and the same dots appear on V's face when he checks himself in the mirror. These dots might actually be a futuristic take on the facial tracking markers used in motion capture. This would be similar to the technology used in movies like Avatar for instance, and in the same scene we also see him entering a booth to record this movements. Similarly to motion capture, we see that the movement of his body matches the virtual skeleton in the glass dome, so it's fair to say that all the people dancing in the sun are none other than V motion capturing himself to bring this vision to life. As we see in the next scene, V has complete control over this world because it's his creation. It's an ideal reality, a place where everybody has fun, is friends with each other, and everybody enjoys life in harmony. When the camera zooms in on the map of this world, we see a heart in the middle of it, like he put all his love to accomplish this creation, 
and if you look closely, we can even spot Yontan's reflection right in the middle of it. In the last scene, we see the van driving away, and V sitting with Yontan before getting inside of the house. As he takes a selfie with him, Yontan's reflection has the same digital glow that we saw during the holiday scenes, and this might actually be a very important detail. You see, right at the end, we can see that V is making memories with Yontan, and the digital proof of this memory is the one glowing in the phone. If we apply this idea to the entire video, maybe the holiday sequence is not entirely something that V made up, but rather an actual memory that happened and that is now embellishing with his own creative imagination. As he said himself, one of the main themes of this debut is nostalgia, and nostalgia is an idealization of the past. Since he is in the layover stage of his life, before moving on, he's creating a cinematic painting of the summer of his life, which might also explain all the references to Wai Yongwa. Back in that story, the most beautiful moments in life were the ones spent at the beach. It was when the members were all together under the summer sun, and like his slow dancing, they also recorded these memories with a Polaroid that ended up showing the truth about that reality. Since V mentioned this era as an inspiration, these similarities might be an homage to a past that he loves before eventually moving on to the next stage of his career. As we saw in the video, by the end V moves on, the van leaves and he goes his own way, but this is not a sad farewell. The memories are still there, the fun they had together is still there, and the magic of it all is still a huge aspect of V's creative process as seen by the art that he created on and off screen. From this perspective, slow dancing becomes an attempt at prolonging his most beautiful moments in life, while at the same time celebrating the youth that he shared with Ami and the other members. Now, to see what else V has in store for us, for now we'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about liking and subscribing. As always, thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye bye!